Hello, this is Kate from dailytarotgirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. For this week's reading, I'm going to be using the Light Visions Tarot. And you may have noticed that I'm uploading this reading a little bit early. So this reading is for February 19th to the 25th. And the reason I'm doing that is I decided to take a little bit of a vacation from the internet for a couple of weeks. I found that I was really struggling with creativity <laughs> and getting ideas for things. And there's some things I wanna create this year and I was just having a hard time mapping it out and, and getting inspired. So I thought I'd take a little media break and see what happens. Okay, so Monday, this card is for Monday and Tuesday. So February 19th and 20th, and it's so beautiful. We have the sun and the sun is a wonderful way to start the week out. So um, the sun is just a very positive, very extroverted card. And whenever the sun shows up in a reading, it always, it always signifies positive things happening, good things happening. Now, the only downside to the sun is that it's so vibrant that it can be exhausting if we stay in the sun too long. And um, yeah, so that's the only, the only downside of the sun. Um, but what I feel that it means, I feel that, I feel that there's a couple of meanings for the sun. If there's something you're worried about this week or something that you feel a certain amount of stress or anxiety over, the sun sh is showing up to say, relax, it's okay, everything is gonna work out, just relax. So that's one thing I get from the sun. The other thing I get is that you want to align your energy, so your thoughts, your feelings, your actions with the sun at the beginning of the week. So how you do this <laughs> is think about, think about what that energy of the sun feels like to you. You know, it's bright, it's warm, it feels good, unless it's, you know, the middle of a heat wave and then it feels <laughs> not so good. But think about that, that sun-like energy. And now think about how you can align your life with that kind of energy. Just, just for today, you know, just for Monday and Tuesday, you know, maybe just for this week, not forever and ever, but what kinds of thoughts would you have? If, you're, if your energy was totally aligned with the sun, sun-like energy, what kinds of sunshiny thoughts would you be having right now? And what kinds of feelings would you be having? And what kinds of activities would you be doing? What, what kinds of things would you be focusing on in your life if your energy was very sun-like. Okay, so middle of the week, Wednesday and Thursday, we've got Five of Cups, so very different energy to, to the sun. Five of Cups is a card of, it's a card of loss, of losing some kind of opportunity, um, even losing a relationship, losing something, and feeling very much emotionally drawn to ruminating about that loss and really focusing on that loss. And this card really, to me, really symbolizes that tendency that we have to dwell on the negative and to ignore the positive. And so your task here isn't to you know, if something truly upsets you and you're upset about something, it doesn't pay to brush that thing under the rug and just think happy thoughts. Um, but you also want to be aware of the fact that sometimes you can have a negatively influenced way of looking at things, which causes you to not see the, the good things that are happening, to not notice the positive things, to not pay attention to the opportunities and the great things that you have if you're just totally focused on something that didn't go right. So when you're negatively focused, you tend to be hypersensitive to anything negative in your life or anything that doesn't work out. And you might even interpret situations that aren't negative in a negative light. And, and this card is reminding you that sometimes, sometimes you do this, <laughs> sometimes we all do this. So this is about recalibrating and 
focusing on what you do have in your life that is working. And here my little kitty has come to, to say hello. <laughs> Be good, Merlina. Don't knock my camera over. So, um, so yeah, so that is Wednesday and Thursday. And then as we get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, ooh, one of my favorite cards, the Hermit. You know, there's a lot of water in both of these cards. The Hermit, there's this, this stream, this river. And then the Five of Cups, there's this big ocean. So that's kind of interesting. And actually, both of these cards, I don't, you probably can't see it from here, but um, the Hermit, there's a figure on this bridge, presumably looking down at the water. And there's a figure in Five of Cups who's leaning over a cliff and looking down at the water. And uh, I think that's interesting. Ooh, girl, sorry. <laughs> Totally, totally knock the camera over. Okay, so the hermit, what does it mean for us for the weekend? So the hermit is all about spending time alone and not being lonely, but being alone, being okay with being alone and reflecting, you know, going within, reflecting and gaining wisdom. I, th I always think of the hermit as being about tuning into our, our inner hermit, our inner wise person, our inner wise self, and, and uh, gathering that wisdom, whether it's wisdom that we need to make a decision, wisdom that we need to move forward, or to just look at a situation differently. <laughs> My cat won't be quiet. She's so chatty. Melina, I'm trying to do a reading, okay? Shh, yeah, be quiet. So let's let's have a look. <laughs> let's have a look at um, all three of these cards together and see if anything else pops out. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just <laughs> she's rubbing her forehead on the camera. <laughs> okay, so yeah, when I look at these cards, the main thing, well the one thing I notice is that the energy of the sun and the energy of the hermit are very opposite. And as you can see, there's a moon behind the trees in the, in the hermit card. So a very different energy at the beginning of the week as opposed to the end of the week, which is interesting. Um, the beginning of the week is a good time to be more extroverted and to really focus on what energy you're putting out there into the world. Whereas by the end of the week, it's about turning inward and thinking about um, you know, your inner life, your spiritual life. And, and again, I'm just really struck by the fact that there's someone looking down at water. I love that. And I'm trying to think, you know, all the times I've gazed at water, it's been very contemplative. There's something very contemplative. It's kind of similar to like looking up at the clouds. So I, I do feel like there's um, this suggestion of contemplation this week and really contemplating things and looking for the deeper meaning in things and also gaining a certain degree of self-awareness, which um, I kind of touched on when I was talking about the Five of Cups and you know being aware of how we perceive things and how we experience things. So there is this energy of you know, going within and reflecting on things. So it looks like a, an interesting week ahead. So thank you so much for watching. My name's Kate, and you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. I've got lots of tarot reading spreads. I've got tarot tutorial videos, um, all kinds of fun stuff. So if you're interested in learning tarot, that's the place to, it's a good place to check out. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful week.